Getting left at the altar is a heartbreaking experience. Unfortunately, several celebrities have gone through this in the past and have shared how hard it was for them to move on from. Let's get into part three of this list. And at number 10, John Cena and Nikki Bella. It seemed like everyone was rooting for these two. After four years of being together, Cena proposed in 2017 at WrestleMania 33. They seemed like the perfect match, both top wrestlers. But the relationship did not work out, and only weeks before the wedding was set to take place, Bella called off the wedding. In a statement at the time, they said, quote, While this decision was a difficult one, we continue to have a great deal of love and respect for one another. We ask that you respect our privacy during this time in our lives. It was reported that they got back together for a short time in 2018 and tried to make things work. But by July of 2018, they were officially over. Bella moved on quickly, and in 2019, she started dating her now husband, who she now shares a child with. In at number 9, Johnny Depp and Winona Ryder. Johnny and Winona are my favorite 90s couple, and it still breaks my heart that they didn't end up together. They met at a movie premiere in 1990, and he claims it was love at first sight. They only dated for five months before getting engaged because they were so sure of the relationship. But it seems it was too quick after all, as they broke off their engagement after three years of being together. Maybe the wedding was stalled because they were not sure if getting married was the right decision. At the time of their engagement, Depp said, quote, There's been nothing in my 27 years that's comparable to the feeling I have with Winona. To profess his love further, he got a tattoo of her name on his arm. It said, Winona forever. But after their split, it now says, Why Know forever. In 2011, Ryder began a relationship with Scott McKinley Hahn, a designer. Depp then married Amber Heard, who is fighting in court following their split. In at number 8, Kyle MacLachlan and Linda Evangelista. These stars met during a photo shoot in 1992 and instantly hit it off. The model and actor became a beloved item in Hollywood, with Evangelista upping his reputation in the fashion world. This couple dated for six years. During this time, they decided to take things to the next level and get engaged. But shortly before the wedding, he ended the relationship. After making the tough decision, he said, quote, I didn't really want to get married as I couldn't see the point and the relationship wasn't really going anywhere, he told the Evening Standard. I'm sure he and Evangelista had very different thoughts on the relationship near the end. He moved on with an actress he met while filming Sex in the City, and they now share a child together. In at number 7, Alyssa Milano and Scott Wolf. Alyssa Milano has dated quite a few actors over the years. She's even joked in the past that her dating history is longer than her IMDb profile. Some of her past suitors include Justin Timberlake, Eric Dane, and David Arquette. One of her longest was with Scott Wolf. They met in June of 1993 on the set of Double Dragon, and only two months later, they decided to move in together. Things kept going well, so they decided to seal the deal and get engaged only four months after meeting. The relationship was incredibly fast-paced, so it was no surprise when it fizzled out. Shortly after the engagement, they decided to call it off and end their relationship. Milano moved on and now has a son and daughter with her agent husband of nearly nine years, David Bulgari. Wolf married the Real World New Orleans alum Kelly Marie Limp in 2004, and the couple have three children together. And at number six, Tate Donovan and Jennifer Aniston. Before Jen Aniston was in her marriages to Brad Pitt and Justin Thoreau, she dated fellow actor Tate Donovan. Things were pretty serious between the pair, and they dated for three years before getting engaged in 1998. The engagement did not last long before they decided to end things. But the awkward twist happened when Donovan was cast as their love interest in the show Friends. He was cast as Joshua opposite Aniston, who played Rachel Green, and they played love interest for multiple episodes. Donovan said about the casting, quote, It was horrible. It was so tough. I remember getting back to my dressing room and just weeping. Aniston later married Brad Pitt. After getting divorced because of cheating rumors, Aniston married Justin Theroux in her home in Bel Air in 2015. Halfway number five, Alanis Morissette and Ryan Reynolds. Before Ryan Reynolds got married to Blake Lively, he had a long-term relationship with Alanis Morissette. These two Canadian celebrities met at Drew Barrymore's birthday party in 2002 and instantly hit it off. They were so smitten they decided to get engaged to years later. Morissette was smitten. In a 2005 interview, she said, quote, He's just such a supportive creature. I feel so loved by him, in a trampoline kind of way. He's always very happy for me. The pair never ended up walking down the aisle. They never even set a date for their wedding, which was definitely a red flag. In February of 2007, their reps announced the split. They both moved on and dated other people. Reynolds is now married to Blake Lively, and they share two children. In at number four, Robin Wright and Ben Foster. Before this relationship started, Robin Wright was married to Sean Penn, but they got divorced in 2010. Shortly after this, Wright started dating actor Ben Foster. They dated for a few years, then got engaged in early 2014. But by November, the marriage had been called off. After spending some time apart, the couple realized they wanted to give things another shot, so they got engaged once again in January 2015, but broke up for good in August. So not only was one engagement ended, the second one also fell through. But it was all for the best, because both people moved on to other marriages. And at number three, Evan Peters and Emma Roberts. These two were the definition of a toxic relationship, on and off for their entire 
entire relationship. The two met on the set of American Horror Story and dated for a little over a year before he proposed in December of 2013. Then a year and a half later, the relationship and engagement were officially over. A source close to the couple said, quote, their three years together just ran its course. They have so many great memories together but couldn't make it work in the end. The breakup was amicable. There's no drama whatsoever. But there was more drama. They got back together and broke up again two more times before they officially ended the relationship in March of 2019. During their relationship, it was also reported that Roberts was arrested and taken into custody for hitting Peters during a fight. In 2013, police was called after someone reported a fight in the couple's hotel room and found Peters with a bloody nose. In number two, Pete Davidson and Ariana Grande. This relationship was incredibly chaotic, and it was almost clear from the start that they were not going to work out. After a messy split from her longtime boyfriend, Mac Miller, Ariana started dating SNL comedian Pete Davidson after appearing on the show. The couple were incredibly hot and heavy and seemed to be obsessed with one another. Ariana even dedicated a song to Pete on her album Sweetener. Only after a few weeks of dating, Pete Davidson proposed to Ariana Grande in June of 2018. Absolutely nobody could believe what was happening. But after the sudden passing of Mac Miller, the relationship was on the rocks, and it was clear Ariana was getting doubts. By October of 2018, their engagement ended. A source said about the split, quote, it was way too much too soon. It's not shocking to anyone. After the breakup, he became a laughing stock to Ariana fans, with many saying he messed up the best thing that ever happened to him. But he didn't stay down for long, and he's now known to date some of the most beautiful women in the world. Finally, number one, Lady Gaga and Christian Carino. Lady Gaga is a hopeless romantic who keeps getting engaged, but has sadly never made it down the aisle. Lady Gaga and talent agent Christian Carino first stepped up together in February of 2017 after months of engagement rumors. The pair confirmed their engagement in October of 2018, but only a few months later it was announced that the relationship was over. Many insiders blame Carino for the end of the relationship. Gaga broke it off after he got too possessive. Sources said, quote, Chris didn't treat Gaga very well towards the end of their relationship. Another source said, quote, he was jealous. He was trying to find her all the time and texted her a lot. Her friends didn't like him either. This was her second failed engagement. The star was engaged to longtime partner Taylor Kinney, but after getting engaged, they split almost a year after. Gaga confirmed the breakup in a 2016 Instagram post, writing, quote, Taylor and I have always believed we are soulmates. Just like all couples, we have ups and downs and we have been taking a break. Then in her Netflix documentary, Five Foot Two, Gaga admitted that she thought her success ended the relationship. She said, quote, I did a movie and lost Taylor. This is the third time I've had my heart broken like this. All right, guys, that's all for the list. But before I go, I'm going to shout out some comments from part two of the last list. Tiny Town Girl said, Marilyn Manson doesn't even look human. Scary. Completely agree. Sometimes like all of his makeup looks insane. Definitely not my type at all. Let's just say that. Grace said, you guys are tricksters. I clicked on this video because I thought Lady Gaga got left at the altar. She wasn't even mentioned. My apologies for that. But if you're watching this current video, we did mention her. So hopefully we've made it up to you. <laughs> then Emily QS said, I really think the two guys who broke things off via email both made a D-bag move to end things in such a way. You grow up and give your partner face-to-face -face reason. Absolutely. Like there's no way you can be engaged to someone and then just break up with no no facial contact. That is so crazy. If I was one of those women, I would like track down the men and just, I don't even know, like talk it out, you know? All right guys, that is all for the video today. I've been your host, Mackenzie Smith, and we'll catch you in the next one.